This is not about learning something or becoming something or waiting for something to happen or waiting to get somewhere in the future. This is about letting go of everything and just being here and enjoying the simplicity of this moment. So how is this moment experienced? without the mind's interpretation of it. If you didn't know any language, if you didn't know any words, how does a baby perceive life? They don't know the name of anything. They don't have any identity, any sense of self. There's only pure awareness perceiving through this physical form. And it's peaceful. For the mind it's not peaceful. For the mind it's torture. It's very unpleasant for the mind. And that's what we experience as resistance. When we start to let go and let go and just be here. The mind experiences discomfort in the form of thoughts and sensations in the body like agitation, boredom, a sense of incompleteness. And what's required is to have the willingness to stay here simply perceiving and allow the body to feel all of that unpleasantness that bubbles up by opening to it, surrendering to it. And letting it burn up in this fire of truth. You have to have the willingness to be totally honest and acknowledge what the inner experience is. If the mind has an idea that I'm spiritual or I'm on a spiritual path, then that part of the mind doesn't want to acknowledge that actually there's rage here, there's hatred here because they're not spiritual to the mind. There's deep sadness here. And that will act as a block, a wall, to prevent you from seeing and accessing all of that energy that needs to be processed. We don't need to feel that energy in order to be free, in order to recognize what you are. The recognition of your true self is instantaneous. The integration on the level of body-mind happens in time, with time. But pure awareness, what you are, is not affected by whatever thoughts come or whatever is happening in the body. Because there's a knowing that that's not you. It's just the body experiencing sensations. But if you believe that those sensations mean something about you, then that's part of the story that the mind creates of who I am. 
and then you're stuck as the sense of the separate self. So if you can let go of all story, be fully present with whatever is happening in the body, have the willingness to feel it, and ask yourself, what is perceiving? What is it? And really look, not try to understand mentally. You can't understand it mentally. If you try to understand it mentally, you're only stuck in the mind. The mind is thoughts. So what is perceiving the thoughts? What is here when there is no thoughts? 